On August 28, 2022, a tragedy occurred in Chattanooga, Tennessee. So Greg was my brother that passed away last year. One Sunday, he went to lunch with his wife and he had an accident. He choked on a piece of steak. And unfortunately, the people in the restaurant panicked and didn't know what to do and Greg passed away. Choking deaths are the fourth leading cause of death in children under five years old. Choking's a common thing. We all know somebody that we've seen choking or that we've choked ourselves. Greg was my youngest brother. Uh, Greg was my partner in the business and he was a kind soul. He was a giver, he was a caregiver to his wife. Greg was a runner. He got up at three o'clock every morning and he ran the bridges of Chattanooga. For Greg to pass away by lack of oxygen is, um, is something that we just want to prevent going forward. Something I found out about uh, during Greg's funeral, a device called the Life Act. It's an amazing device. It's saved over 1,400 people so far, and it's never lost a patient. So Greg O2's mission is to put a life back in every school, nursing home, daycare center, restaurant, and first responder vehicle. We came up with the idea to do Greg O2. We developed a website, www.grego2.org, and put together volunteers, over 50 volunteers, and so 100% of the donations go towards putting life facts on food service areas. Our biggest challenge is donations. Without donations, we can't put life facts on the walls of food service areas. So that's what we need out of the community is donations. Our local government has been very strong in helping us. Our health department has come forward to, to help us with Greg O2, to notify the public of what Greg O2 is all about and what LifeVac is. Chattanooga is a strong city and um, when we need each other, uh, people come together. The more LifeVacs we can get on food service areas, the more lives that uh, we can save.